Hi guys. Hello, hello. How is everyone doing today? Uh, thank you. Uh, I didn't have a Facebook Live lesson yesterday because it was a holiday. It was uh, Foundation Day in Japan. So um, I didn't have a Facebook Live lesson yesterday, so I'm sorry about that. But I did post a video over on YouTube. So if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. Um, it's available right now. You can still watch it. And let me just, um, uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, if you could, that would be amazing. It really, really helps me out a lot. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you guys in the chat. Let me post the link. Okay. Ah, oh, Tete Win, hello. Nice to see you guys. Hello, Reginald. How are you? Okay. <clears throat> so, Welcome to the lesson. We're going to be learning some advanced vocabulary today. Hello, Aliawan. Nice to see you today. Hello from Bangladesh. Greetings. Hello from Istanbul. Okay, so are you guys ready to learn some advanced vocabulary? Hello, Devashka. Okay. Oh, hello, hello. Hello from japan <laughs> okay so we are going to look at some advanced vocabulary um we're gonna look at three words they are all adjectives and they all end in able a b l e okay so let's go through them if you know them uh please let me know okay if you don't know them totally okay happy lunar new year 2021. Awesome. Okay, so ta-da! We have palpable, palpable, durable, and perishable. Okay, palpable, durable, perishable. Have you heard any of these words before? Maybe I think the one that you might have heard of is durable, durable. Oh, is it correct? It has been so long since I saw you the last time on Facebook Live lesson. Yes, on on a Facebook Live lesson. Very good. Yeah, is it is it been a long time? Usually, I've been doing it a little bit later recently, so I'm sorry about that to change the time. Yes, this is live right now. Teacher, where are you? Live Facebook now? Yes. I'm in my house and we're live on Facebook, okay? Oh, it's okay, so if you haven't heard of them, no problem. Oh, so some of you have seen the word durable before. Very good. So we have maybe palpable and perishable are probably new for a lot of you. Maybe durable you've already heard, but let's go through these words, okay? So palpable, palpable, we usually use palpable for um, feelings or atmosphere. So a feeling or an atmosphere, you can't touch it, right? You can't touch it. So this marker, I can hold it in my hand. I can feel it. I can touch it. However, something like love, stress, anger, I can't touch those things. But when we use the word palpable, it means that a feeling or atmosphere is so strong, so intense, that we can almost touch it, that we can almost touch it, okay? So um, if, uh, if, for example, uh, we went you and I, we went uh, hiking. We went hiking and we were standing at the top of a really big mountain. We look down and we feel so scared. We feel so scared. Oh my gosh, this is too high. How are we gonna get down? Oh no, are we gonna die here? Maybe the fear, the fear that we are feeling could be palpable. The fear was palpable. So it's it's like the fear was so thick, so strong that you could touch it. 
Okay, so it's kind of like um, it's kind of like uh, an, an emphasis when you emphasize something. Um, the fear was so strong, it was like I could touch it. Okay, we'll look at some examples a little bit uh, later. Okay, durable. Durable means something that is very, very strong, something that is very, very sturdy. So sturdy and durable um, are the same meanings. So if you don't know uh, durable, you might know sturdy, sturdy, very, very strong. You can't break it. Okay. And the last one is perishable, perishable. Uh, usually we use perishable when uh, we talk about food. So perishable food is the food that can expire or uh, the food that goes bad very quickly. Okay. So what is the difference between perishable and palpable? So palpable is talking about a feeling or an atmosphere that is very, very strong. And then perishable is food that expires, expires quickly, okay? So let's um, look at the definitions in writing and then we'll do some example sentences, okay? So probably the meanings are totally all different, but I just thought it would be good to learn some advanced vocabulary with a common theme of the suffixes, okay? So, oh, hello from Mexico. How are you? Hello from Bangladesh, okay? Ah, so uh, Ali Awan actually has a very good question. What does perish mean as a verb? So to perish means uh, to, to die. <laughs> perish means to die, to perish. I wonder if there's a, a better word. Uh, yeah, uh, I can't think of a, a better word, but uh, if someone perishes it means they die usually like suddenly or violently so when a food perishes when we have perishable food it kind of means that the food dies right it goes bad it rots okay excellent okay let's yes yes pass away very good eric okay so let's take a look here we have palpable, uh, usually a feeling or atmosphere so intense, you feel like you can touch it. You can't actually touch it, but oh, the fear or the stress or the anger is so strong, I can almost touch it, okay? It's in the air, it's in the atmosphere, okay? Then we have durable. Durable means able to withstand damage or wear. So like a, something that is built very, very strong that uh, it won't easily break or won't easily get damaged. Okay, very good. Hello from pa Pakistan and Cambodia. Ah, yes, 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 yes. So uh, Ted Ted Win, very good. Um, a few weeks ago, we learned kick the bucket. Yes, kick the bucket means to die. It's a very casual way. And perish also means to die. Yes. Okay. Ah, oops. Uh, hi, just joined. Welcome. So uh, does palpable, is palpable the same as a parent? Yes. So when something is palpable, it's very obvious, it's very clear, very noticeable. Yes. Okay. So uh, then the last one, perishable, perishable. Usually we use this word for food and food that is likely to decay or go bad quickly. Okay. So can you guys see those definitions up there? All right. Everybody understand these three words. Okay, so let's try number one. Maybe number one is a little bit easy. Uh, maybe it'll help you understand the vocabulary. So number one, their love is blank. Which word do you think is the correct one? 
their word, their, sorry, their word, their love is something. Oh, very good. Okay, I see some different answers. Okay, very good. So I would say the best answer of these three, the best answer is their love is palpable, palpable. So their love is so strong that you can almost feel it. Their love is so so intense that we can almost touch it. So remember that palpable is usually for a feeling or atmosphere. So love is a feeling. It's in the atmosphere. Their love is palpable. Okay. Very good. How about number two? Here, oh, sorry. Here is where we store the something foods. Here is where we store the mm -mm -mm foods. Okay. Is palpable a positive adjective? Um, it could be positive or negative. So it just depends on uh, what is palpable. So if their love is palpable, wow, very nice. Their love is so intense. If their anger is palpable, oh no, that's not good. <laughs> okay. So number two, here is where we store the something foods. Okay, so here is where we store the perishable, perishable foods. Okay, so here is where we store the foods that uh, go bad quickly. So maybe they need to be refrigerated or frozen. Here is where we store the perishable foods. Remember, perishable is usually used with foods, okay? Very good. Number three, these shoes are very something. I've had this pair for over eight years. These shoes are very something. I've had this pair for over eight years. Oh, very good. This was an easy one. Okay, good job. These shoes are very durable, durable. Okay, so usually when we use durable, we talk about an object that is very, very strong. Um, their love is durable. Usually I wouldn't say their love is durable, but palpable it sounds like the better answer for here. For shoes, we would use durable, very strong. Okay, number four, meat fish and dairy are examples of <laughs> goods. Meat, fish, and dairy are examples of <laughs> goods. Okay, number four. Oh, very good. Excellent. I see correct answers. Good job. Meat, fish, and dairy are examples of perishable foods. Perishable. Okay, excellent. Yes, con good job, everybody got it right. Okay, number five. Our company sells furniture that is not only something, but also stylish. Our company sells furniture that is not only, <laughs> but also stylish. Yes, very good, Hafez, excellent. Okay, Ali, good job. Excellent, excellent. Our company sells furniture that is not only durable, so very strong, uh, but also stylish, also stylish. Yes, Tata Win, good job. Mohammed, good job. Ab, 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 abagi, good job. <laughs> Mahmoud, excellent. Okay, number six. His pain was almost something. His pain was almost something. Mm, number six. What is the best answer for number six? His pain was almost... 
Good job, Hafez. Excellent. Salim. Okay, Ali. Good job. Sidra. Mario. Okay. Excellent. His pain was almost palpable. Palpable. Okay. His pain was almost palpable. So his pain was very, very intense. You could almost touch it. Okay. Very, very good. So remember, we use palpable for feelings or atmosphere that is very strong or intense. So it's very like thick in the atmosphere. We can almost touch it. Uh, durable is usually an object that is very strong, um, that can withstand damage and wear. Uh, perishable is usually for food um, that is likely to go bad very quickly. Okay. Oh, Salim got six out of six right. Very, very good. Excellent. Okay. So if you guys want to try and make some sentences with palpable, durable, or perishable, I have a few minutes. Okay. Very good. Oh, I'm glad you're on time today, Mario. Excellent. Okay. So if you can, um, if you can uh, make some sentences, I will try and put them on the screen or if you have questions as well. Uh, let's see. Number two here. Uh, yes. So in number two, uh, when I say here, here is where we store the perishable foods. Um, uh, here is maybe when you're showing a place. So if we are in the same place together and I say, okay, here is where we store the perishable foods. Um, here is replacing like uh, this closet or uh, this place. So if you're just showing it, you can simply say here, here. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, thank you so much. Ah, okay, okay. Um, oh, excellent. My cricket bat is durable. Very good. Your cricket bat is durable. Excellent. Oh, my, oops, where did it go? My truck tier was durable. Oh, what is a truck tier? I don't know what that is, but maybe it is durable. <laughs> We can use perishable for a person or just for food. So we can use the verb to perish for people. So uh, to perish means to die. So we use perish for people, but perishable is usually, a, usually we use it about food. So like meat, fish, dairy, things like that. Something that can expire or rot, go bad quickly. Okay, very, very good. Ah, COVID vaccines are highly perishable items. Yeah, I, th I think you could use perishable for that. Yeah, because if you keep them outside of the really cold place, they will go bad. Excellent. Ah, this is a good question. What is the suffix? So suffix is um, the ending of a word. So in English, we have prefixes and suffixes. Uh, so here, if you notice, the suffix is able here. So each word ends with able, able, okay? So words can have prefixes that come before the word, like re, renew, rethink, reimagine, um, and suffixes come at the end of words, okay? Let's see. Maybe I'll do two more. Oh, very good, Devashka. Milk is perishable. Yes. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a good one. My enthusiasm is palpable. Very good. So your enthusiasm is very, very strong. It's like people can see it or touch it. Excellent. Ah, 
what is the difference between tangible and palpable? So uh, the way that we're using palpable today in, in the sentences I gave you is for things that are actually not able to be touched. Tangible, tangible is something that can be touched. So usually like a physical item, um, a marker, uh, a phone, a computer, those things are tangible. You can touch them. Palpable means something is so noticeable or so strong that it's like it's tangible. It's not actually tangible, okay? Very good. Ah, thank you so much. I'm taking class first time. You are just love. Oh, thank you so much. What is the timing of your class? So uh, recently I do um, Facebook live lessons around this time, usually maybe an hour earlier or an hour later. It depends on my schedule. Um, and I also are, I'm, I've been posting lessons on YouTube. Um, I'm trying to do it every day at 8.30 p.m. Japan Standard Time. So depending on your country, it might be a different time. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, very good. Okay, we'll do one or two more. Uh, oh, you guys have some great questions. Um, if you have questions that are not related to today's lesson, please uh, comment them uh, again on like a, one of my posts so I can remember to to answer them in a lesson. Ah, I see, I see. I mean, my truck tire was durable. Very good. Yes, your truck tire is durable. It, it lasts for a long time. Yes, tomatoes, we would say tomatoes are perishable. Tomatoes are perishable. Very good. Or this tomato is perishable. Yes. Okay. Very good. Uh, I'll answer maybe just one or two more questions, okay? Oh, I see so many good examples. It's hard to pick one. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see. Ah, uh, insulin. Yeah, insulin is perishable. So please... So please keep it always in the fridge. So please keep it in the fridge. Yeah, um, I'm not that much i'm not that familiar with insulin but does it have to be refrigerated probably <laughs> it could be perishable yes okay ah let's see one more oh which one which one i like durable things to buy oh good job so i would change this a little bit i would change it to i like to buy durable things. I like to buy durable things. Very good. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. My decision is durable. Stop talking out of it. This is a uh, very good. Um, I'm going to change it a little bit. So usually decisions aren't durable, durable. Usually durable is something like physical. So decision, maybe uh, I would say my decision is set in stone. So this is a good um, uh, expression to use. So when you have decided something, you are not going to change your mind. You've already decided it. You're moving forward. You could say my decision is set in stone, set in stone. So um, I think the image is like if you if you carve something into a stone, it will always be there. So my decision is set in stone. Stop, maybe stop trying to, stop trying to talk me out of it. Stop trying to talk me out of it. My decision is set in stone. Very, very good. Okay. 
Oh, durable things are usually expensive. Yes, that is true. Very good. <laughs> ah, yes. I hope I can participate again with my classmates next time. Yes, please. I'm glad uh, that um, you guys can participate and talk with each other too. Ah, set in stone. So I'll I'll put it here. Uh, set in stone. Set in stone. Let me see if I can. Uh, the correct one is set in stone. Set S E T. Okay. I am joining your class first time. It is interesting. Oh, thank you so much for joining. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, very, very good. So thank you all so, so much. Um, oh, if you're just joining now, we went over palpable, durable, perishable. So I'll just review really quickly one more time. Palpable means a feeling or atmosphere that is very, very intense or strong can almost touch it. Durable is an object that is very, very strong that can withstand damage or a lot of wear. And then perishable is foods that, uh, foods that go bad quickly. So like meat, fish, milk, those are all perishable foods. They will expire, they will rot. You can't eat them after maybe a week or something, okay? Very, very good. Thank you all for joining today's lesson. There will be a brand new lesson over on YouTube later today, 8.30 p.m. Japan Standard Time. Okay, thank you so, so much. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, please subscribe, turn on notifications. That way you'll know when I go live, okay? Thank you, everyone. I will see you next time. Bye.